Well, a 60-year-old grandmother and a pregnant woman are now cooling their heels in the custody of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. The grandma, who was arrested in Ibadan, Hoyo State Capital, during a follow-up operation by the NDLEA, the consignment which she claimed was uh, sent to her by her daughter, was concealed in two giant speakers as part of a consolidated cargo that arrived in Nako Import Shed of the Mortala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos, on board an Air Peace airline flight. In a related development, and the LEA operatives also intercepted 1.4 kilograms of methamphetamine concealed inside custard tins packed among cosmetics and foodstuffs going to Brazil via Doha on a Qatar Airways flight. Operatives of the NDLEA have now recovered more than 132,000 tablets of tramadol and 2,000 bottles of codeine across five states and the federal capital territory in the past week. Well, at the moment, the NDLEA has declared an Abuja drug lord, Ibrahim Momo, wanted. Ibrahim Momo, was known as, who also known as Ibrahim Bendo, was first arrested on the 27th of November 2014. He was prosecuted, convicted, and sentenced to seven and a half years in prison on the 22nd of April 2020, but escaped from jail after three months. Operatives of the agency stormed the Abuja warehouse of the notorious drug lord, where 81 jumbo bags of cannabis weighing 1,278 kilograms were recovered. Though the fleeing drug dealer is still at large, his warehouse, a keeper, 55-year-old Ghanaian Richard Forson Gordon, has been arrested. Well, in other news now, the Medical Guild Lagos, made up of medical and dental practitioners, is demanding that the state's uh, upcoming budgetary allocation in the health sector be made to meet the World Health Organization's 15% minimum allocation to ensure effective upgrade of it, the health system. The Medical Guild is also calling for an upward review of doctor's salaries as implemented for judges in Lagos State. Senior correspondent Jacqueline Ogo reports. The doctors presented a body of problems shrouded in poor welfare and inadequate incentives, which are making many of their colleagues kick doors open to catch international flights, leaving the health sector already depleted of personnel further depleted. We hereby call on the government at all levels to declare a health sector state of emergency, to really practically tackle these mounting problems bedeviling our public health system. The upcoming year's budgetary allocation to health must decidedly meet the WHO minimum of 15% of a country's budgetary allocation. Rather than spend this budget on constructing new health institutions, the Medical Guild holds that existing ones should be upgraded. The Medical Guild, Lagos says the duty of doctors as lifesavers demands that they be very healthy to carry out their strategic duties. And due to challenges in their pay structure, the burden of treatment ought to be taken off their shoulders. In the meantime, no government employed medical and or health worker must have to pay for treatment received in any government hospital. Too many die or suffer in ailments. The Lagos government doctors want an upward review of their 5,000 Naira hazard allowance in line with the federal government's review with nine months payment arrears. They are seeking government supported housing and mortgage facilities as well as car loans to alleviate the sufferings of those living far from work. For once, that will not throw the doctor into the open market they sure can never compete in. Much as was deliberately done for the state judges and other cadres, very much justifiably so at the time. Applauding Governor Babajide Sonwolu for efforts made towards revamping the state's healthcare system so far, the doctors called for government-assisted training by local and international partners to boost their efficiency. 